everyday math cards and go ahead and leave all of the numbers in there 0 through 20. You will need a calculator, some sort of writing utensil, and a score sheet. And this one I've already played one round, so I'm going to teach you how to play. First thing that you want to do is partner up with someone. Go ahead and shuffle your cards, again using all of them. You will lay out seven cards in front of each person. Three, four, five, six, seven. My partner would have seven out in front of him or her as well. The first thing I'm going to do is put them in order from smallest to largest. So I'm going to go ahead and order those real quick. So they are now from smallest to largest. What I'm going to go ahead and, and do is to fill up the sheet. So I played one round already. I'm moving on to second round. A game consists of three rounds. So the first thing I do is look for my minimum. My minimum value is one. So I go ahead and record that. The next is the maximum. My maximum or largest card is a 15. So I go ahead and record 15. My partner is doing this at the same time as I am. Range is the maximum minus the minimum. So I would take the maximum 15 minus one, which is 14. The mode is the number that occurs most often. None of my numbers are duplicated, so I do not have a mode. So I can leave that blank or just cross it off. Median is your middle value. So either you can flip them over or you can just take a look. One, one on this side, one from this side, one from this side. And because I have an odd number of cards, it would be the middle value, seven. If you had two cards remaining in the middle, you would take the, what is halfway between them. The next is the mean, and that's where you'll need your calculator. So I'll turn my cards back over. And I'm going to go ahead and add up the sum of all of the cards. So 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 15 gives me a grand total of 49. Once I have the sum, I count how many cards I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I divide that number by 7, and I end up with a whole number. My mean or average is 7. You may round it to the nearest whole number. My last step in this round is to add up all of the points I have. So 1 plus 15 plus 14 plus 7 plus 7 equals 44. So for this round, I have 44. I would continue one more round. Then the partners would add up all of the totals for the three rounds to come up with a grand total. The person with the largest score wins.